world markets continued to react this week to the United Kingdom's recent referendum vote to leave the 28-member European Union. The UK is comprised of England, Scotland and Wales within Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Exiting the EU could threaten international trade deals, including the prospective Transatlantic Trade and Investment Partnership, or TTIP, the EU is currently negotiating with the United States. The UK government said before the June 23rd vote, a withdrawal could take more than two years and lead to a decade of uncertainty. Wednesday morning, we talked with UNL professor of ag economics Wes Peterson to learn how this could impact U.S. ag trade. We started by asking about the immediate impacts to the U.S. and world economies after the recent vote. The main effect so far is, is the very short-term market volatility, particularly currency markets. Uh, the, uh, I, I found, I was looking at the pound, it was uh, about just before the um, uh, Brexit vote, it was, uh, the pound was $1.48. It fell to $1.31 and it's come back up now to today to about $1.35. So, uh, so the, the, there'll be a lot of currency volatility uh, as, as, um, as, as it happens with, with markets when they get shot. Uh, stock markets will also be volatile, but the, all of that, uh, the stock market changes will, will uh, uh, smooth out. I mean, you, uh, there's a tendency for these things to overshoot, uh, and, and uh, in, a, in a few months, I imagine the Dow will be back up where it was when, before this happened. Can you give me a brief idea of why people wanted to leave the European Union? The, the, the arguments that were made, uh, uh, one of the main I items was immigration. There were people who were worried about immigration, and, and the, the UK, I think, is more worried about immigration from Eastern Europe than from uh, the um, uh, Middle East and, and North Africa and so on. So that was one. Uh, the, the, uh, there was a, a sort of a misinformation campaign that suggested that the UK would get back 300 million pounds uh, from the, uh, a week from the European Union if they, that they were sending at that stage to the European Union. Uh, and, and so I, I now, the, now the other thing is, of course, the, that the UK has always been a little bit uh, aloof uh, from, from uh, the, the continent and there was a sense that somehow or another they would uh, be better off economically outside. They wouldn't have to comply with European regulations and so on and so forth. I was surprised that they did it and, and, and I, think it's, I think they're having second thoughts in, in the UK now. Uh, and, and of course the other repercussions, you don't know what Scotland and Northern Ireland are going to do and so, so there's, there's likely going to be a great deal of uncertainty for some time and, and most businesses don't like that uncertainty very much. So, <laughs> What are the implications to trade? Well, the uh, UK overall is, is the biggest, uh, is the fifth largest export market for the United States. Uh, they take about 5%, um, 5.5% five five of our total uh, exports of goods and services from the United States. So, so that's, uh, that's a pretty good sized market uh, overall. Uh, for agriculture, um, uh, the UK is not nearly as significant a market. Our, our big markets in agriculture are NAFTA uh, and Asia. Uh, so, uh, and that's true for Nebraska as well. And, and so, uh, but, but the UK does t uh, take around 2% of our total uh, U.S. agricultural exports. But in Nebraska, the, um, um, we don't, it's not a significant market for Nebraska. Nebraska exports about $3.1 billion worth of uh, agricultural goods. Uh, and only about four million of that, which is just a little bit north of a tenth of one percent, uh, goes to the UK. So it's not a, it's not going to affect Nebraska agriculture very much. What do you think this means for TTIP, the Transatlantic Trade Investment Partnership? That, that's the, 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 a very interesting uh, question. It's a hard hard to hard to say. So there's a lot of uncertainty about that. I mean, basically, the U.S. will go ahead, and, uh, as far as I can tell, will continue to negotiate if if Britain is out. Uh, we'll continue to negotiate and, and with the TTIP without Britain there. Uh, if Britain were in the uh, European Union, we might expect that we would have uh, an easier time negotiating uh, a trade agreement with the EU because the influence of the British as members of the, of the European Union might uh, moderate some of the, the uh, demands that they might make. Outside of that, though, the UK now operates independently for trade. The basically, or uh, will operate yeah, independently. basically the 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 the, the Great uncertainty about all of this stuff that, that, that will uh, going forward is, is first of all what, what will be the terms of the exit, 
uh, when, if the UK invokes Article 50 of the Lisbon Treaty, then, then that means they will set in motion a process that can take two years for them to get out. So they, they aren't gonna, it's not going to happen next week. They aren't going to be completely out of the EU next week. Uh, they may not be out of the EU for quite a long time. But once, once they do sort of get out, then, then uh, the, the default would be uh, to, that they would, their, their trade policies would default to the rules of the World Trade Organization. Uh, and, but they would also then be able to negotiate uh, agreements, trade agreements with, uh, with all these other countries. Uh, and, and again, how they would do that would depend on the terms of their exit and, and so on, and, and that will take a long time. So, so basically that again is one of the, the problems, the things that, that I think will bother people is, is the fact that, uh, you know, if you're a business, you'd like to know what, 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 what kinds of tariffs you're going to have to pay and what kinds of barriers you face uh, for, for trading with, with, with countries. And, and um, uh, that's going to be sort of uncertain for the foreseeable future, it seems to me. West says he believes the TTIP will be difficult to negotiate, especially with the significant differences the potential partners face with respect to agriculture.